Well, Gordy, the restaurant is called The Prize Pig, and it's located right here off of US-12. Now, the owner claims that his food is quite unique, so today we're here to put it to the test. Hi, I'm here to meet with you and IT. Are you Jeremy? Yes, I am. Oh, great. Nice Hi, to meet you. Nice to meet you. People have always told me my food's good, I should open a restaurant. He's always been the cook in the family. Um, his food has always been delicious. I've always asked him to start his own restaurant. So Jeremy Volwinkle and his wife Tiffany decided to do just that. January 25th was our first day. The location is good. It's near SMC. It's on US 12. It's really busy. We came up with the name just brainstorming. The name they came up with? The Prize Pig. And it may be just as unique so as their food. Usually you're, you're looking at 10 to 12 hours on something like this. You've got the brisket here, pork butts here. Our restaurant's unique up here because we do things fresh. So everything we cook, we make that day. Even our sides are all homemade down to the pickles. So everything is made in-house. And I think that separates us from a lot of the places out there. And they gave me the opportunity oh, to try it myself. Okay, this is our brisket platter. All right. And our coleslaw. Yeah homemade pickles, and our homemade cornbread. Wow, okay, thank you. All right, All right I'm gonna try the coleslaw first. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> All right, let's try this pickle now. That was good too, homemade pickles. All right, now the cornbread. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. I saved the best part for last, the brisket. See how this tastes. Thank mm. <laughs> you. This is great. The tray you tried was the brisket platter. Uh, brisket is beef, where most people associate pork with barbecue, whether it's ribs, tips, uh, pulled pork, things like that. So that's been a big hit here because most people aren't familiar with brisket. And we try to do a Texas style brisket, which is just salt and a lot of black pepper. So it gives you that nice meat, beefy flavor with a nice peppery kick. It's a tough cut of meat to cook, but if you do it right, I mean, it literally will melt in your mouth. The other big thing is the pulled pork and the, um, the spare ribs. The spare ribs, again, we do a dry rub, so they're not coated in sauce, they're not real sloppy, but we do provide all the sauces on the side so that people who are accustomed to sauce can definitely have it. And the sauces are all homemade too. My family always cooked at home. We always had big family meals on Sundays at grandma's house, things like that. So food's always been kind of something I've been involved in. And now Jeremy and his family are involved sharing their food in Niles here at their own restaurant. We have two children, Savannah and Tyler. Savannah's four years old and Tyler's three. And uh, we try to come in on the weekends or maybe at dinner time on the weekdays to try and visit him since he's here quite a bit. And I like that it's kind of a smaller location so that he can really focus on the customers and the quality of the food, which is what he definitely does. I've only been here one time. I mean, this is my first time, but yeah, I come back because I like to pull pork anyways. With being a smokehouse, there's not nothing like that in Niles, so this is really the first place I've heard of. Gordy, you're gonna wish that you came out on this one, definitely. For more information on their hours, or what their menu consists of, all you have to do is go to our website, which is www.experiencemichiana.org. Back to you, Gordy, in the studio. <laughs> and I can get back to work and eat. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll first say that.